Okay. How do I enter the swoop race? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race... You, you would sponsor a complete stranger? Trip. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from Oh no. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Okay, how am I supposed to get inside the Vulker base? Getting into the Vulker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the Undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Okay. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to oh, stir up a little excitement. Okay. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. Well, I can't get in the Undercity. Some way past the Sith guard post in yeah. the elevator. Got some Sith uniforms. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city card, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need yes, a proper I know, paper. I know. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Well, if you ambushed a Sith patrol, why do you need a disguise? You should already have some. I like to be prepared. Eventually, I guess he just wants more disguises. Out of the Undercity. I guess. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Or maybe it's the fact that it's like it doesn't have like blaster shots covering it. That's probably it. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? No, I don't think so. I'll ask you some questions anyways. Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. <laughs> What's up with your freaky eyes, old man? Uh, very tactful. Uh, are you itching for a fight or something? How dare you? I should kill you where you stand. Calm down, Zedra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, oh, come on. I he's, lost he's my eyes to... in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulcans. Yeah, I already know about this. Whatever, I'm just gonna go now. Feel free to come back anytime. We're not like those Vulcan savages. Strangers are welcome in the Beck base. I see, these guys are cool. Uh, what's his name? Gaden's my bro. I can make one of them if I want. Alright, well, we got our security papers. Now we can go and head on down to the lower cities. Which way is it? It's this way. Is that the swoop track? I saw some guys flying by. Eh, whatever. Ah, I'm stuck. You walking down the big hallway. Karth again? He's like just staring at me intently. He's like, come on, come on, ask me something, I dare you. Yes, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? I want to talk about these issues. No, we didn't finish our, finish our conversation last time. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try to explain. 
You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility Actually, you're languages, the one who saved my butt. I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. That sounds like an excuse. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. I'm, well, it just won't happen again, that's all. No. Someone has a, a dark past. I'm starting to get pretty tired of this attitude of yours. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be the first. Look, I don't expect you to be my friend. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. So leave. Be on your own. It's obviously what you want. It's not what I want. I have a duty, and I intend to see it through. The galaxy is in danger, and I want to save it. That's what I want. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. So quit stopping me every ten feet. Jeez. Alright, can, can I get through now, buddy? Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Well, lucky for me, I just happen to have some, some security papers right here. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack goals, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Good to know. Thanks for the advice. Alright, let's go. To the Undercity. You there! Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll! Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake it down. <laughs> Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Oh no, five credits. Hmm. We are the outcasts, banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. Oh, how sad. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. What are you going to use credits for? Hmm. Try to be nice to them. No, I'm I'm Juan Solo. My credits are precious to me. Please have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few credits to make our lives. So ask for them. Don't demand them. You ain't getting nothing from me. Have you no heart? Have you no compassion? Come, my brother. Let us go. We will get nothing from this selfish upworlder. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name's Juan Solo. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the upworld, aren't you? I... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? It's nothing special. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Calm Gita, down, lady. The leader of our village, it's not that great. Me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, 
I, I sort of have, sort of think you're weird for just telling me your dreams when I'm, I'm just off the elevator. It's the first time you've ever seen me. Rukio's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. The promised land? What's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukia. Well, maybe I should. Where can I find him? He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children wow. laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because How's he over 100 about years old when you don't have any, like, proper health care or anything? Old man. You think people would, like, die, like, at 40 or 50 down here? Okay, well, whatever. I'm just gonna be going. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Okay, okay, whatever. Hey, outcast man. They say anyone bitten by a rat ghoul will become a rat ghoul themselves. It can't be true, can it? It's what are you talking horrible. about? You, you've been living down here your whole life. You'd think you would know. You, oh, hey, Rukul. You come Rukul. from the world above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? What? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? Don't people the come down here all the time? Through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Yeah, it's like... People come, da come down here all the time, dude. I think you just need to calm down. What are you talking about, old man? Question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Yeah, I get assaulted Even by after a hundred years of life. Random people and then still become confused. Random old people Perhaps think I'm some sort of like Jesus. Clear. Some things at least. My name oh, is Rukul, the Messiah. The oldest outcast here in the village. Rukul Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. So do you do you accuse everyone who comes off the elevator of being like your savior? Get to the point, old man. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. True path? What's that mean? No. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? No. Not until you prove yourself. <laughs> you... I didn't have to prove myself, like, a minute ago. My apprentice is... lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. What do you give me if I help you? Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. Alright, well, whatever. I'm going out there anyways. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Gendar. Hello, Gendar. Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. 
I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why... This guy kind of reminds me of the Golden Voice Man. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Okay, who are you people? Why do you live here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to so form this criminals? village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations. Our ancestors cast down long ago. Oh. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants. But somehow we managed that's, that's to survive terrible. amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly raccoons. It's like someone commits a crime and they just throw them down here and... All of their children and their children's children are all out, are forever banished. That's terrible. Okay, well, tell me about the rat ghouls, I guess. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Oh. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. All right. Well. Okay. Ask your questions, up That sounds. I will answer sounds like they're the zombies. My knowledge, though, I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Okay, I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Veo. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. Okay. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Okay. Ask your questions, Upworlder. How do the rock ghouls, like, survive? Like, if there's so many of them, then, like, wouldn't they starve? Okay. Maybe they have, like, the slowed metabolism thing, like, like zombies have, or whatever. I don't know. You said something about other upworlders? Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Why? I guess you're not gonna tell me why. Alright, whatever. As you wish, upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can. Okay. He's a pretty cool dude. Alright. I think that's the way out. How much time do I have? I'll talk to this one last guy. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? You kind of sound like the other slime ball. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. Hmm, I wonder I why. Trust him as far as I can throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. How do you manage to run a store? If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange oh, okay. food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters, and the like. Sometimes Are you Irish? They even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. <laughs> he like slipped into an Irish accent there for a second. Okay, um, let me see your inventory. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Okay. Hmm. Do you have any, like, good blasters? Here you got an Arcanian Heavy Pistol. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like the look of this. Hmm. What's this? Oh, I don't have, like, implant levels, because I'm not, like, a like a scout. Alright, well, let's, let's sell some stuff. See if we can get that fancy new pistol. I'll sell one of those. Sell these. 
Hmm. So, two of those. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even bother to see what these were for. All right. Well. Anyways. Let's go ahead and buy a, a new pistol. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to buy that. There we go. Ah, look what I got. Arcanian Heavy Pistol. Nice. More damage and higher attack rating. And you can take my old uh, Heavy Blaster. There we go. Now we're equipped. What? Alright, um... Oh yeah, I was gonna see about the other stuff. Reflex. Not sure what reflex saves are for. I'm sure it does something helpful though. Also we got this thing. Will saves. I don't think it's really helpful until we start facing like people who use the force. But I'll, I'll equip it anyways. <laughs> It's like really, really, really old Bluetooth headsets or something. I don't know. But anyways, I'm about out of time, so yeah. Welcome to the Undercity. What a wonderful place it is. Next time I'll be heading out the city gates and, uh, you know, checking out the sewers and whatnot. So yeah, this has been Super Vader Man, Juan Solo, Cartho Nassi, and our lovely friend Igear. I want to thank you guys for watching, and may the Force be with you.